Hello and welcome to a demo execution of the nice looking graph layout algorithm. This algorithm takes a directed acyclic graph, also known as DAG, and lays it out like this, which is a very aesthetical, at least for me. Now, let's begin. Here we have a graph. And as you can see, it's not just randomly laid out, uh, it's sorted. This presentation is called a topological sorting of a graph. A topological sorting takes all the vertices of a graph and sorts them out in a row, so that all the edges will go in one direction. In our case, all the edges go from left to right. Now, we combine the topological sorting with finding the longest path in the graph and with both of these we can uh, practically lay out a graph very, very nicely. Now, both of these uh, problems, topological sorting and longest path, can be solved in linear time for directed acyclic graphs. So, in our case, they won't affect the overall running time, which is linear. So, basically, we need to find the longest path, as we said. We already have a topological sorting here, and in our case, the longest path is as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. Now, there are some other paths of length 6. Uh, we don't really care for the execution of this algorithm, which one uh, do we pick, we just need one of them. Now, the idea is that we take only nodes of the longest path and move them into a different row. So let's do it. Now, uh, Sorry. Now, while I'm shrinking the gaps between the nodes, you may notice that it gets even uglier than before. Don't worry, we'll fix it in a moment. Now, the algorithm goes like this. We basically iterate over all the remaining nodes, which are unnumbered. We have them here. And we want to find the level. As you can see, we have numbers here, 1, 2, 3, until 6. Each one of them is called a level, and we'll put other nodes in the same column as these nodes. So, let's take a look at this node here. This node has 3 as its child. So, it makes sense to put it in level 2. If we drag it here, it does indeed look somehow aesthetical. We keep the direction of all the edges in the graph. So let's put it in the level 2 and now let's do it more formally. Uh, we pick any node, uh, for example this one, and we take a look at its parents and children. Now, in our case, this node has no children. It has only parents. Its parents are 4 and 5. So, we take the maximal level of its parents. In our case, it's 5. We add 1, and that will be the resulting level for our node. So, if the maximal level of the parents is 5, the level of this node is 6 and we move it here. Now let's pick another node, uh, for example this one, it has a single parent of level 3. Now if it has a single parent of level 3, the maximum level of its parents is 3, and therefore its level should be 4. And we move it to the right location. Now let's pick this node here, which is a bit complex. This node has a single parent of level 3. 
and it has two children of level 6 and 5. Now, in my implementation, uh, I saw good results where I choose to take into account the children first and ignore the parent if we have children. So, we have the children of level 5 and 6. And in a very similar way to the way we laid out nodes that have parents, we will take uh, this node and put it to have a level of one less than the minimal level of its children. So if the children here have levels of 5 and 6, we will put this node at level 4. And let's move it. And it doesn't look so great. Yeah, it's a bit better than before, but it's still a bit ugly. If we move it here, we'll get something which is more readable because the arrow heads won't all collide. So, it's not perfect, but it does indeed look better than what we had before. Now, we can play with it a bit and move, for example, this node here. And this now looks much better. The idea is that what uh, the thing that we take uh, into consideration as ugly are three things. We take edge crossings, like here, uh, we think they are ugly. We think that nodes that are very far from their parents are ugly. And we think that nodes that are way above their children are ugly. Now, my algorithm solves uh, two of these problems. I can solve uh, nodes which are far from the children, and I can solve nodes which are far from their parent. I can't solve edge crossing, not with this simple technique. There are, however, uh, some... Uh, basically, we will want to minimize the amount of edges that cross one another, uh, I haven't covered this yet. Uh, I found some horrible ways to do this in exponential times, and they're not worth publishing yet, uh, at least until I find anything better. Now, let's analyze the running time of this algorithm. Uh, basically, we go over each edge twice. We go over the edge first time when we encounter a child, and the second time when we encounter the parent. So we run over all the edges twice, which means it's running in O of E, O the size of E, which is linear. Now the topological sorting runs in O, V plus E, and so is finding the longest path, and in total we get linear time. Uh, now, here it does look a bit ugly. Now, if we would have been a bit more lucky, and we would have chosen the nodes uh, in a different order, we could have gotten something like this. This was received using our algorithm, which was run with different nodes. Basically, we had several longest paths, which matter and as you can see, we have here two nodes of level 4. If we pick them in different order, it does indeed affect the running and the result. Now, what I haven't shown here is that if we, if you remember, we had nodes, uh, we had here where my cursor is, only nodes which weren't numbered yet. Now, it does seem to give much better result if we iterate over these nodes by their topological sorting, meaning that we start with the one uh, which was at the left and we go right. Uh, it will look much uglier than this. If you skip backwards in this video, you will notice that I uh, picked here and here and I did zigzag a bit. Um, that's basically the nice looking layout algorithm. Uh, I'm open for suggestions and comments, uh, so feel free to leave them on my blog or as a comment on this video. Thanks for watching and bye bye!